lengths to which gamers won't go to get a more immersive gaming experience. Everything from curved screens, higher resolutions, gaming on a TV, and even VR serves this purpose. And indeed, if we were to ask you what is it that makes a gaming experience more immersive, the first answer would probably be the size of the display. Now, there are other factors to it as well, but there's no denying that size plays a huge role here. It's why gamers go crazy for higher resolutions, why they connect their PCs to TVs despite the worst response times, and why we've all dreamt of a VR experience in all of its sci-fi glory. But if you want the biggest screen you could possibly get, there's there's still nothing that can beat a projector. With that in mind, we've made this video to showcase four of the best projectors you can get for gaming in 2019. So without any further ado, let's begin. First up, we have the Epson Powerlite Home Cinema 2040. As the name suggests, this mid-range projector is most suited for home cinema setups, but it actually fares very well when it comes to gaming thanks to the relatively low input lag. It may not be suited for competitive online multiplayer, but for casual gaming, you should have no issues with the Home Cinema 2040. Its image quality is great, with native support for 1080p and the use of 3 LCD technology that completely does away with those pesky rainbow artifacts that projectors are notorious for. It even supports 3D projections. And with 2200 lumens, the picture will be bright enough even in dimly lit rooms. Although a completely dark room is, of course, the ideal working environment for the 2040. It has a very admirable contrast ratio, so black colors are reproduced fairly accurately. The only downside is that you'll have to buy 3D glasses separately. This is far from ideal, but the 2040 is actually one of of the cheapest projectors that support 3D projections, so we can at least understand why the glasses don't come bundled in with the projector. Also, like most projectors, the Home Cinema 2040 has a built-in speaker, and like most built-in projector speakers, this one is very subpar, with a power output of only 5 watts, not to mention that it's a mono speaker. Still, this isn't so much a shortcoming of the Home Cinema 2040 in particular, as it is a weak point of projectors in general, so don't let the speaker discourage you. There are plenty of features here to satisfy most users, not the least of which is support for direct HD streaming to any MHL enabled device. If anything, you'll mind the fact that this projector only has two HDMI ports since you'll want to use it as a replacement for everything – TV, monitor, and console. And because we like to feature at least one product in each of these videos that spares no expenses and really shows you how high the high-end performance can go, we present to you the Epson Powerlite Home Cinema 5040 UBE. It's like the previous projector if the previous projector was jacked up on steroids. It's also the world's first wireless 4K projector, although we have to clarify that the 5040 UBE doesn't natively support the 4K resolution. Instead, it uses the company's patent 4K enhancement technology to upscale the 1080p resolution into 4K. The end result is still an image with unprecedented clarity, but we figured it's best to be upfront with these things since we all remembered how the gaming community reacted to the PS4 Pro's use of upscaling. Of course, the increased resolution isn't the only thing that the 5040 UBE offers. It also has a contrast ratio of 1 million to 1, which is just insane, a brightness rating of 2500 lumens that guarantees it can handle even a moderately lit working environment, and it even featured HDR support. All in all, if you want the best image a home theater projector can offer, be it in 2D or 3D, nothing beats the 5040 UBE. However, while you were probably expecting this projector to be expensive, even exorbitantly expensive, we can still see the price tag of $3,000 catching you off guard. For this much money, you can buy one of the most high-end gaming rigs, complete with the RTX 2080 and the HTC Vive for VR gaming in highest settings. So definitely make sure that this projector, with all of its features, is exactly what you need before purchasing the 5040 UBE. Now, while the specs of the Home Cinema 5040 UBE were genuinely as jaw-dropping as its price, you really don't need a monster like that to make the most out of a gaming on a projector. 
In fact, the projector we recommend the most is the Optima HD 142X, a relatively inexpensive model as far as projectors go, with a price tag just shy of half a grand. What sets it apart from the competition the most, however, is the fact that this projector was designed specifically with gaming in mind, so it's packed with plenty of features that any gamer is sure to enjoy. The most important of these is the gaming mode, which maximizes response time in order to get rid of one of the worst things about gaming on a projector, the motion blur. It's also got a brightness rating of 3000 lumens, brighter than even the 5040 UBE, so you can enjoy gaming in 1080p on a massive screen even during the day in a well-lit room. Of course, the fact that it was designed for gaming first doesn't mean that it's not good for movie watching. Not only can it stream 3D content, but it can also do so wirelessly. And it features a wide array of optional accessories like 3D glasses, ceiling mounts, and so on. Although this design philosophy did leave its mark in terms of connectivity, Activity, since the HD 142X features only two HDMI ports, a 3.5 audio jack, and a USB Type A port. Still, if gaming is your first priority, this should be more than enough. Finally, the 10 watt mono speaker isn't really what you want to have for an immersive experience, be it for gaming or movie watching, so as always, you should also be ready to invest in a good speaker configuration to complete this projector. And last but not least, we have the ViewSonic Pro 7827HD. This is another excellent 1080p projector, and the most impressive thing about it is that it fully meets the Rec. 709 international color standard. So if you want a vibrant and lifelike image, you can't go wrong with this one. Plus, its 2200 lumens brightness rating makes it eligible even for use in a dimly lit room. It's also exceedingly versatile with regards to connectivity, with three HDMI ports, two of which are MHL enabled, VGA, S-Video, component and composite inputs, both a 3.5 millimeter audio and microphone jack, and two USB ports, one type A and one mini. And as for output, there are one VGA and one 3.5 millimeter out. So you don't need to worry about whether this projector will fit into any configuration or not. As for the downsides of gaming on the Pro 7827HG, well, there's always the fact that you'll need a better speaker than the built-in one. But more importantly, it's got a worse response than the other projectors here, so we can't really recommend it all for games, since the motion blur in fast-paced titles can get nauseating. Now that we've seen the best four projectors out there, all that's left is to discuss what you should look for when buying one of these so that you can buy a projector that caters specifically to your gaming needs. And there are really only four things to keep in mind here. Resolution, response time, contrast ratio, and brightness. The resolution is quite straightforward. Nothing under 1080p will do for a gaming projector. You'd only be doing yourself a disservice in the long run if you settle for anything less. But if you can, do get one with 4K capabilities, since it's bound to to be more future-proof now that games are slowly transitioning from 1080p to 4K. Plus, stretching a 4K image over 100 or even 200 inches will look much better than doing the same with a 1080p resolution image, although a powerful GPU can help there with the use of anti-aliasing. But what isn't nearly as straightforward is the response time, and that's simply because manufacturers rarely disclose them. Why? Because they're far from impressive, of course. Some projectors even have response times of 14 milliseconds, which is way more than TVs have nowadays. This is why we've singled the Optima HD 142X out as the most optimal projector for gaming. What's more, there's no strict correlation between prices and response times, so instead of just buying the most expensive projector you can, do your research if you want the best gaming experience. Who knows, maybe it'll end up costing you less than you imagined. And then there are the contrast ratios and brightness ratings. Contrast ratios basically determine how deep the black colors appear on the screen. Truth be told, even a ratio of 10,000 to 1 isn't going to leave most people wanting. But none of the models in this video go below 20,000 to 1. And as far as brightness ratings, the general rule of thumb is that 2,000 is enough for a dimly lit room and 3,000 is enough for brightly lit ones. And that about does it for this video. Of course, gaming on a projector isn't for everyone, but it certainly can be a cool and immersive experience, if you've got the room, the lighting, and other means to make it work. It's never going to be ideal for competitive online games, although it makes split-screen gaming more enjoyable than it's ever been. And if you're playing a single-player game in an optimal environment, the experience is downright cinematic. Anyway, we hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you did, and click on the bell icon if you want to see more videos.
videos. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.